Hello, welcome to Absolute Beginner Machine Embroidery. I'm your host, Sarah Gallegos, and in this episode, I'd like to share with you how you can personalize and customize pillowcases using embroidery. So here I've created a pillowcase. You can work with the pillowcase that you're going to make on your own, and at the end, I'll show you how you can hoop a ready-made pillowcase as well. All you need to create a pillowcase is two or three fabrics. I like to do three. One main piece, you've got a little tiny band, and then the cuff that you're going to embroider. Now, we're working on a little bit of a small area that's a little bit more difficult to hoop. So I'm going to show you the absolute best stabilizer to use with this and how you can make it really quick and easy. So think about what you want to put on your pillowcase. I'm doing my daughter's names. So then you can create that right in the screen of your embroidery machine. And just kind of think about the size of the designs that you're working with. You've got a fairly narrow area that you're working with. You can do quite a, quite a long length if you want, if you want to write a little song lyric or a phrase on there, but you want it to make sure that you're using letters that aren't you know, two or three inches tall. You want to stick with a letter that's one to two inches. So I've got the large size of a font built into the Aventura that I have selected, and those letters are about an inch and a quarter, and when I put all the letters of her name, it becomes six inches. Now we want to make sure that we center this on the cuff of our pillowcase. So I'll set this aside. And here I have the pieces for another pillowcase, just kind of another fun little kid's theme. And I've taken the cuff or the band piece, so the full size, and then folded it in half along the length. And that gives me the starting point for the size. And I know that when I embroider this, I need to make sure that my design is centered within this half of the band, not the actual center of the band piece. Otherwise, your word would be on the side of your pillowcase. So you want to make sure that it's in this half portion. Next, you're going to fold the band in half again. Because when you stitch your band, you'll be folding it to make a cuff. So you're working with half of the width that you currently have. Give it a nice little finger press, or you could press it with your iron, and then open it back up. So now I know that I want to center my embroidery design within this area here. So once again, I'm going to fold from the raw edge down to the fold line that I just created. And again, you can give it a finger press or press it with your iron. That's going to be our centering line for the design itself. And then one last fold. We want to make sure we center it here, so take and align the long edges, and once again, finger press or press. And that gives us a nice crosshair exactly where I want to center the band of the pillowcase for the embroidery. Now, I've got my hoop, and when I hoop this, you'll see that the piece is a little bit too small if I'm centering it to completely hoop within the hoop itself. So I'm not actually hooping my fabric. I've got a little bit of excess hanging off the side. So we wanna make sure that we're using a stabilizer that's really going to support the fabric that we're kind of floating on top of the hoop. This is a hoopless technique. So what I have is a piece of stick tear, tear away stabilizer. This is one of the stabilizers that I keep on hand all the time. It's one of my very favorites to work with because it's a sticky, stabilizer, so I'm going to stick my fabric right to it, and then when I'm done stitching, it simply tears away like a tearaway stabilizer. It's really great to work with. Now, just a little organizational technique uh, for you. When I open up my stabilizer packages, they come with the plastic wrap on them, and I always save the labels so that I can remember what kind of stabilizer it is after I've used it. Sometimes you can stick them inside of the tube, just kind of coil it up and stick it inside there, or use a rubber band just to place it right on top of it, and that way you'll always know which stabilizer is which. So just a little organizational tip. So I've hooped a piece of my stick tear, tear away stabilizer, and now I need to remove the paper on top. You'll see that when you work with the stabilizer, there's one shiny paper side, and if you flip it over, you have a fabric stabilizer side. When you hoop it, you want to make sure that you have your shiny paper side face up, and now we're going to remove that paper to reveal the sticky. So I take a straight pin, and simply score all the way around the edges of the hoop. And you wanna make sure you use a stick pin that's pretty sturdy. This one's kind of bending in my fingers as I'm doing it, so I pick a little different pin. So I've scored around the edges, and now you wanna create an X right through the center of the hoop. And then you can use your pin, just kind of stick it right inside of the paper where you've scored, and remove those paper pieces. Here we go, I'll grab my pin again. There we go. Really nice stuff to work with, easy to use, makes embroidery 
a little bit more convenient. There we go. So now I can see the sticky portion of the stabilizer and I'm ready to adhere my band fabric. Now we wanna make sure that we adhere it in the right direction. I have my letters facing with the tops up to the left. So I wanna make sure that I have the excess fabric extending to the right so that when I fold that under and stitch it, my name will be facing the right direction on the pillowcase. Now on most embroidery hoops, you'll find that there are these little centering marks. They're raised on the inner hoop ring. And we're gonna use that to make sure that we center our piece of fabric. So I've got that centering line that I created and I'm simply going to fold back on that line. Let it extend all the way across. And I'm going to place my fabric so that that fold is directly on top of those little registration marks that show me the center of my embroidery field. And then I'm going to kind of try and eyeball and make sure that the horizontal registration marks are even with the little fold that I created as well. Once I have it positioned nice and flat and straight, I'm gonna give it a little finger press just to adhere the fabric to the sticky stabilizer. Then I can open up my fold just like this and once again, give it that finger press. So now I have hooped my fabric, it's stuck to the sticky stabilizer, and that will be enough to support my fabric. If you feel like you want just a little bit of extra security, you could put a couple of pins in there um, above and below the actual embroidery field, but with the sticky stabilizer, it really does hold very nicely, so if you give it a nice little press, you really don't have to worry about it. And you can see that my lines are nice and straight. I can feel where that little registration mark is and feel that it's underneath of my line. And if you find that you didn't get it perfectly centered, that's no problem. Simply pull it off and reposition. You can reposition a couple times with the sticky stabilizer before it starts to lose its stick. So now that I've got my fabric hoops, I'm going to attach it to the machine, and I've already brought up the design, or the name that I'm going to be working with. There we go. My hoop is attached, my fabric is stabilized, and now we're ready to stitch. Now that my stitching is done, I can take the hoop off, easy like that, and then to remove the fabric from the stabilizer, I don't actually pull the stabilizer out of the hoop, I just pull the fabric right off. I feel that that's the easiest way. With this tearaway stabilizer, it's nice just to kind of support the letters as you're pulling it out, and with the fabric still hooped, it keeps it nice and taut so it's easy to pull. So you literally just pull all that stabilizer right out, just like that, and you've got your fabric off. And now we are ready to attach it to the pillowcase. So it's real easy, simple pillowcase construction and a quick, easy way to personalize your pillowcase. Now, if you are not a sewer, if you like to just embroider and you're not actually going to create your own pillowcase, you can do this with a ready-made pillowcase as well. So here I have just a plain pillowcase from the store and you could use the exact same stabilizer, but you wanna kind of follow some of the same principles. You wanna make sure you've got a nice band that you can embroider on. And just like we did before, find the center of the band just by folding the folded edge right up to the edge of the band, give a finger press, and then fold it in half again, give a finger press, and then you have your centering line. Now to attach this to your hoop, you'd put a fresh piece of stabilizer in the hoop, and you want to just lay the entire pillowcase on top of the hoop. But you wanna make sure that you get all of this excess fabric out of the way so that it doesn't get tucked underneath of the hoop as you stitch, because then it'll stitch your pillowcase together. One of my favorite ways to do that is to work with the project inside out. So if you turn your pillowcase inside out, it makes it just a little bit easier to get the right side of your cuff nice and flat in your hoop. And then I take pins or little wonder clips, anything I've got on hand, just to kind of bunch up the excess fabric and pin it out of the way. 
so that you keep your embroidery field unobstructed. You don't have any of that extra fabric in the embroidery area, and you've got all of this up out of the way so it doesn't get caught underneath of the hoop. So same principle, same stabilizer. You can easily personalize a ready-made pillowcase as well. Now you could do a name. There was a cute little article in Creative Machine Embroidery where they did Mr. and Mrs., or you could do I love you, I love you too, any sweet little sentiment that you want to put onto your pillowcases. Really quick, easy gift and a fun way to create a custom bedroom. This episode of Absolute Beginner Machine Embroidery has been brought to you by Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Madeira, color your life. Hatch Software, bring embroidery to life. Furniture provided by Koala, fine sewing furniture, custom built in America.